Hey YouTube, today we're going to show you a quick fix. I think you're going to like this one because it's an easy way, if you have a sewing machine, it's an easy way to restore an arm, a rollover arm is what we're going to be doing today, making an arm cap for us. The first thing you want to do is you can cut it a little oversized, you know, like three inches oversized where you want it finished. And then what you want to do is just kind of pin up. You can get one pin or a couple of pins to hold it there. If you have chalk at home, so a lot of people have chalk. Um, it's a good idea. Uh, what you want to do is just chalk. I'm going to chalk the front where this uh, welting is, okay? And I'm just going to go like so. It's going to come over like this. So I'm going to give you a couple of uh, clues. You don't want it too far coming down this way because your cushion, you don't want it to go into your cushion because what happens every time you sit on the cushion, it's going to move. So you want to make it, um, cut it off up at the top. Some people say they want full sets of arm caps, but you don't want to do that. A lot of people don't have the fabric for that either. So once you get this piece done, we're going to cut that in a minute. What you want to do is measure. Can you hear me that tape measure behind you? <laughs> Throw it over. Camera okay, it's working. So what you want to do is you want to measure to the back. This has back cushions, so you, again, on the back, you don't want them going too far back either. Remember, your protection is just in this area. So we're going to go, we're going to, you know, do it about 17. And then what you want to do is measure all the way around this way, which is about 24. And I'm giving it a little bit more. 17 by 24 is what we're going to cut that. And then we're just going to, I'm just going to cut this right now. I'm going to come over here to the table. And we're going to cut this half of an inch bigger, okay? Okay, and I got my other pieces cut and I'm ready to sew. So really, you only have two pieces, you guys. You have the piece that you cut. You, you made it a half of an inch bigger, okay, the front. And then you have the panel piece or the square rectangular piece. Okay, and you mark the top of that. Okay, so when you, when you look at your arm, the top is over here. So if you go like so. Sometimes you have to go over to your, your piece and just see where you're at with this, but because sometimes it's hard to remember. Now you make sure you, let me just do this again, even I, the fabric sometimes. So what I didn't do is I, I didn't mark, I suggest that you mark your panel so that you know the front, you're, you're really clear about the front and the back. So let's just look at the, this again. So let's pretend like this is the, this is the arm, this is the top, right? So what you want to do is start sewing right here. You know, I usually set my stitching at about two and a half for these. And make, you know, if you can find a thread that comes close to your fabric, that's great. So I'm just going to sew this all the way around. Let's check that out to see how we did. Let's reverse this. Okay, so far so good, right guys? So now all we have to do is fold this under and get a nice hem there and let's do that. Now sometimes what I do is I just fold it once depending on the fabric. Um, but I think on this one here, it only I think what we're going to do is double fold it just to give it a nice finish. So we're going to start on the back. So what we're going to do is just put a double fold on here to get a nice hem line. Okay, sometimes uh, you don't have to do the fold, but it um, depends on how heavy the fabric is. But, uh, you know, if you want a, a nicer finish, that's what you do.
almost to the back. There we go. Beautiful arm cap. Got another extra thread there that will cut. Let's cut that off. Let me just show you this. So there you go. That's the right arm. It's rolling over this way. And you got the nice hem. So that will save you some uh, life of the sofa. You probably can extend if you take the outside back off the sofa and use that and upholster it with something else. Hopefully the sofa's up against the wall. Uh, you can, and you just have problem area on the, on the arms and you've, you've made your arm cap. You can extend the life of your sofa probably another 10 years. So, so there you have it guys. This was my right arm cap. So I've, I've done that. I've made the left one and we're all set. So see you next time.